Hi, it's Nikki. In China, besides the 7-Eleven, there are many domestic convenience stores. A lot of people eat their breakfast, lunch, even dinner at a convenience store. But I've never done that because I have a very high standard when it comes to food. But today I'm gonna try to have a full course dinner at this convenience store behind me. Let's go. But I guess the difference between a restaurant and a convenience store is that you can get the food. You can eat the food instantly, right away. You don't have to wait for the food at the restaurant. So that makes a difference. Oh my god, I have a Pokemon set up here. Oh yeah, um, most of the 7-Elevens in China, they don't have a rest area like this. They don't have table or chair to sit on. So if you buy your food at 7-Eleven, you have to take your food away to eat somewhere else. You can really sit in the store like this one. In China, you have a huge selection of snacks. We Asians love our snacks so much. I'm in heaven. All by myself, nobody's at the store besides the one store assistant and another barista at the coffee bar. Because everything is automatic right now, you basically just scan the food and pay with your phone. There's no cashier in the store. Oh, no, no, no. She thought I was live streaming because live streaming is so booming in China. Everybody's live streaming. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see what they have at the hot fries. They have some oldens, like all the Japanese kind of convenience stores. They have some oldens. 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 So basically, you can come to the counter here and place your order. Once the order goes through, the assistant behind the counter, they will make your order. What else do they have? They have bun, steam bun, congee and bread, deep fry stuff. Look at how cheap this drumstick is. It's only 7 RMB, which is around $1. Let's pay for my Odin first. Okay, it's snowing outside, so I think I'm gonna get something warm to drink. I mean, when you have so many choices, how can you choose? Cheese on rice. Oh yeah, if you don't like the box mail like this convenience store prepared for you, you can always buy these instant rice and instant noodle. Okay, I think that's it. I think I have like a 10 course meal in my basket here. <laughs> 90 RMB already? Am I spending 90 RMB in a convenience store? <laughs> okay. The 
this bowl of rice is like 20 something RMB. Wait, is it 20 RMB? Let me go check. Okay, that's 18 RMB. Still not bad of price. 18 RMB, less than $3? I'm gonna add the cheese on top and the egg that I bought. What? It's unpeeled? <gasps> oh, disappointing. Why are you making the client to peel an egg in the convenience store? No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> Let's try the Odin first. A very typical Odin flavor. I wouldn't expect too much from a box meal in the convenience store. As long as they are edible and they have a taste, then I should be okay. For an 18 RMB rice bowl, I think there's a lot of meat. You can tell the bean is freshly made today because it's still a little bit crispy, it's not mushy. It's probably made early in the morning, in the AM, like 5, 6 AM, and then got shipped here in the store. It says French garlic shrimp on the package. I'm eating French stuff in a convenience store in China. Look at the size of the shrimp. The shrimp is really chewy. You can tell the shrimp is good when it's bouncy inside your mouth. Yeah, they use pretty good quality of shrimp. The thing is like Chinese people are so used to eating outside, eating in a restaurant. The chefs have to put a lot of salt MSG in it or else you won't taste anything because they're so used to the flavor in a restaurant. That's why a lot of people, they're saying like when they come to China, the food are a little bit salty to them. I can eat this more often if they have more selections of food. Because I'm already like ordering food delivery every day for my lunch and dinner. And to be honest, the food delivery I orders tastes pretty much the same as this one. So yeah, why not? I can just buy a cheaper one, a faster one at the convenience store. Dessert time. The cream brulee and the peach and I have a yogurt. Okay, the cream brulee. All right, there's one more thing. In the States or in Canada, if you buy those instant food, you don't get chopstick or utensils inside. But in China, you always get a tiny little cute utensil inside. It doesn't taste like creme brulee. The texture tastes more like puddings. And there's a thin layer of syrup on top. But yeah, it's good. It's not too sweet. I'm gonna take this to home. I'm so full and I'm satisfied. I ate the appetizer and I ate my main. I ate a creme brulee and I even have two dessert I can take home with. All of those, I only spent like 90 RMB. I think it's definitely worth it. Um, I think I would eat at the convenience store more during lunch because at dinner time you saw they don't serve this. Okay, so that's it for today's content. Please like and subscribe. Bye bye.